I'm here with Noel, aka Vince from the Mighty Boosh. Hey, how, how are you doing? You? I'm good. <laughs> Happy birthday for last week, by the Thanks. way. Thanks. Yeah, you could have come. Oh, you were there, weren't you? Thanks for inviting me. It was a good laugh. Did you have a, Did you have fun for your birthday? I did have fun. Yeah, I had more fun on Monday actually at the Soccer Six. Celebrity so you were there soccer again, match. Weren't you? I was indeed biggest stalker. Um, <laughs> What did, what did you do for your, your birthday? How old were you turning, first of all? You can give your stage age if you'd rather. 27. 27. 29. Looking great. 31. <laughs> all of those ages, you work it out yourself. 14, 65. <laughs> Tell us about Monday then. Celebrity Soccer 6. You were playing yeah. in the comedy team. I haven't played since... Uh, I used to be quite a good footballer. I haven't played since, a long, since the 70s. So um, <laughs> it was black and white when I last played. But, um, so I was really unfit. But I did manage to score a goal. I said I'd score a goal. For, uh, I said I'd score a goal for you, I did, didn't I? Thank you. And uh, I hit Met the bar on the post. But um, yeah, Serge from Kasabian, his team won. Uh, and he scored about seven goals. That was pretty... Uh, Top pretty goal amazing. scorer. Yeah, he looks a bit like Che Guevara as well. He had like a headband on. So uh, it was a good look for football. <laughs> it's a good day for football. Che Guevara scores seven. So you got, okay, you've got comedy going on. You've got the football going on. You're doing a festival now with a band, the Music Mighty Boost Festival. Festival. Yeah, we're getting a Boost band together because we're going to make an album. So we wanted to... Uh, uh, just work all the songs out so that we could perform live and stuff and a lot of them need expanding some of them haven't even got choruses and stuff so we just wanted to work on that and then we just thought why don't we just do this live I mean it'll be comedy as well and there'll be theatrical bits and lots was of, it the, uh, the Velvet Onion stage and the Velvet Onion stage is the comedy stage there's like a sort of thousand seat a comedy tent and then Monkey Hell is the big stage where Monkey all the bands Hell. are playing so we've got Gary Newman the legend we've got the Charlatans we've got the Kills we've got Harmar Superstar we've got Peaches <laughs> Um, we've got Robots in Skies, we've got White Denim, we've got Polar Bear. It's um, going to be a massive party, isn't it, though? Because these are quite a lot of your mates, as well as being yeah. awesome well, bands. We wanted so. people that were connected to the booth, so that it didn't just feel like some sort of corporate festival. We wanted to make sure that everyone was either our friends or friends of the booth or had been in the booth or something. So, And we're headlining, yeah. So we're going to get a music set together, lots of different characters singing different songs, lots of visual elements, lots of comedy bits back projection, fireworks. I'm going to release a hawk into the crowd. Hey. Hitch is going to do a thrash set. Um, maybe Tony Harris. Isn't there surely some RSPCB is going to complain about the hawk or something? <laughs> some, you're going to get in some kind of trouble, surely. I'm going to dress the hawk up like Susie Quattro <laughs> and then release it into the crowd. The glitter all over it. Yeah, I think Julian's <laughs> going to do a sort of acoustic set as Rudy Van der Sazio, bring it down, spotlight, stall, like, you know. Tone it down. Yeah, like Nick Drake, just... And yeah. you can be able to boost it up again. Hear a pin drop. <laughs> and then I'll come on as a hitcher and stab him. Excellent. <laughs> get some fresh going, boy. <laughs> when are we going to get the album then? When's yeah. it? There's been lots of talk. When's it going to be? Uh... I don't know. We've got to choose a producer as well. I mean, I know, um, what's his name? Ronson. You spoke to Ronson. He wants to do <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, he was keen. But there's Nigel Godrich. Is it Nigel Godrich? Yeah, Did yeah. Radiohead. He's interested. Quite a lot of producers interested. Um, we're not short of a few producers, so we might give it to a child to produce, like a four-year-old, just to see the results, or Chimp. Oh, hawk. Hawk, dressed as Susie Quattro. <laughs> the album probably come out after the tour now, because I think it'll be a bit Are you going to be using like your comedy songs as well from the, from the Boosh series, or are you going to make yeah. this a bit quite a serious, proper well, band now? We will write some new stuff, and uh, some of the songs are funny, but actually out of context, some of them are just sort of straight-ish songs anyway, like um, like Love Games is funny because it's a transsexual yeah. singing to Julian and Julian does the sort of falsetto singing. But actually, unless you know that, that story, it's quite just a normal funk song. So we want to try and make the concepts funny and the comedy come from the characters, but we don't want to make the songs too no like novelty songs. We want to make yeah. them good and get a really tight band. And Julian's a really good musician anyway. Dave, who plays ballet, can play rhythm guitar. Fossil can play organ. I can play a bit of bass. Because it seemed because when you were at the Royal Albert Hall and you came out as a band, it wasn't yeah. necess. I mean, there was comedy elements to it, yeah, but it was it quite wasn't. like an actual, yeah. an actual gig. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to try and do. Make it good. Make the music good and stand up on its own, and then have some sort of inject it with some comedy moments because we don't want to go all serious and go we're a band now. But I think there's a way of making good music and making it funny as well without making the songs a bit silly. Do you know what I mean? All right. Very lastly, just wanted to ask you. Um, Sugar Puffs, Cadbury's, everyone seems to be ripping you off these days. Is it annoying or is it flattering? It is flattering. At first you get really angry and then you just think, oh, well, it's all right, it's fine. But people do think that we had something to do with that Sugar Puffs, which is a bit annoying because then it's quite a bad 
it's quite a bad crimp. It's not a very good one. So you want <laughs> if you're going to do it, if you're going to copy us, do it good. We might actually bring the Honey Monster on stage at our music festival and uh, <laughs> maybe use a guillotine to chop his head and off. And Bolo, of course, would be the gorilla. And throw it into the crowd. <laughs> we thought it'd be funny if the Honey Monster came on and then maybe Bolo had a fight with him, but maybe the Honey Monster won. <laughs> So, on Bolo. <laughs> funny if Bolo sort of tries to defend their honour and then he loses his asthma attack. <laughs> oh, I could have taken it. <laughs> and we're like, Bolo, what are you doing? You embarrassed yourself. <laughs> Excellent. No, thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the million trillion things you're doing.